You are in the kitchen with Crystal. I am Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness is Not a Game. I am your health and fitness coach who helps women move off of the scale and into the size of the dreams for good without starving yourself, getting a gym membership, or exercising for crazy amounts of time. We make it simple and it's easy. And one of the things I love to do with my clients is talk about food. That is why I created In the Kitchen with Crystal so that we can simplify meal prep and eating better. So, so today I said I'm going to um, use my air fryer to make fish and chips. Now, everybody who knows me knows, I, I, can't, I wasted so much water on myself. Everybody who knows me knows that I love Andy's fish seasoning because it allows you to bake it and it's still crispy. So on the bag, it tells you, you can bake, fry, or broil. And this stuff can be used and your fish is gonna be fire, 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 fire. You see that right there? Bake, what does it say? Bake, broil, and fry. So I usually always bake it. But now I said, now that I got me an air fryer, why not fry it and see if it's even better? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this here thing on. Look at how loud it is. But we're going to rock with it. Y'all hear that? It's loud. So what we're going to do is with the fish, all we have to do literally, and I have my fish here, is put it in this here Andy's and we're going to throw it up in there. But with our fries, we're going to make homemade fries like i said we're making healthier versions of everything so i have my red potatoes we're going to cut these up and then we're just going to toss them in a little evoo and some seasons and we're going to throw those bad boys in the uh, toast oven too i don't know if i need both of these because it's amazing how when you look at this you're like oh that's just a little bitty old potato but when you start cutting up into fries you realize how many fries you can make out of it so i may use both of them i'm not sure then we're going to make a dessert so while those are cooking in the toaster oven. I'm gonna throw uh, a little uh, uh, onion, apple in the skillet with a little butter, salt, pepper. We're gonna saute us some apples, make some cinnamon apples as your dessert. And you like butter, you know, butter's not that helpful for you, but honestly, butter is not the culprit. It's the amount of butter that we use. And I would rather use butter than margarine and all these other things that we don't even know what's in there. All right, let's get these potatoes cut up first. And so we'll see how many potatoes we actually need. This dog little bag is loud. I feel like I need to yell. <laughs> I'm sure I don't. So I came in the other day, and I'm like, what is that noise? Like, if y'all can hear that, huh? I'm not used to that. You know, we've been in this house now for, what, 16 years? Is it 15 years? Go around there. Um, I know all the sounds in my house. And I didn't recognize that sound. And I was like, oh, it's the dog on air fryer. So y'all can hear. Y'all see this? Look. I told y'all I probably don't believe both these dog on potatoes. This is half a potato. Look how many fries I already have. So y'all, don't overdo it just because you think you're supposed to eat more than that. Probably gonna need more. No, oh, fam, this one potato is going to uh, So what I just did, so I chopped up my potatoes. I drizzled a little EVOO on them, and I'm just going to season them up. I got a little um, black pepper because I love pepper on my fries. Oh, I love pepper. Um, with that, I like a little paprika, make it a little smoky. And yeah, so the other day during the challenge, I talked about the different seasonings and making healthier decisions, right? A lot of times folks want to use a whole bunch of salt with it. So you see, as opposed to using salt, Using other oh this fresh onion and herbs. Oh, 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 hey, oh, that's gonna be good. Gonna put some of that on there. Now I got me excited. Let me get this homeboy garlic and herb. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This fries gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Season them bad boys up. Then when they taste like that, when they season up. Guess what? You don't need ketchup. Save yourself some more calories, y'all. Y'all, look at all that flavor. Mm. So this one is the 
because it has two trays. So I love that. So um, make two different things for two different um, uh, uh, servings for two people. So let me throw my fries up in here. And I'm going to put these at the top because I'm going to have fish at the bottom. Bam. And with this, y'all, I'm telling you, the fish, all we are going to do is just going to uh, coat them in some eggs. That's it. That's all. We don't need any more seasoning. No nothing. Just shake it, shake it, shake it. Keep on rolling. And I'm put this at the bottom in case it drips. I don't want it dripping on the fries. Ooh, child. Look at that. This season just smells so good. Can I see that? Because I'm doing just doing a quick coat. Quick coat. Put it on. I haven't tried my fish in there yet, but like I said, I love this fish so much, even just in the regular oven. So I have high hopes. Just dump this out. That it's gonna be fire. Yum. Let me throw this in here. Oh, they already crispy. Come on now. I hear the sizzle. I hear the sizzle. Excuse me, all I got all the sounds going on. Wash your hands, dog on loud toast oven. I mean, I can't call it toast oven, air fryer. That thing is loud. Hey, that's one thing I don't like. Um, all right, so we are going to get these apples together while that's happening. So I just have a gala apple, but you can use gala gala, however you want to pronounce it. But you can use any apple you want. Um, honey crisp would probably be delicious. Pink ladies. Uh, Red Delicious, you can use all of them. I just like apples. So let me range off my apple. Clean them all up. Make sure not eating all that extra stuff. All right? So we just gonna slice this apple up. Y'all, y'all wanna see my other favorite toy? I love my apple core. My doggone love it. Let me know if anybody has one of these. So all you do, get that thing on here. It's so easy. Pow! Y'all see that? See? Apple cut. I swear the core is right there. Pop that thing out. Throw that thing away. So I got my slices cut up, but I do want them thinner. So we're going to saute them up. And all we're going to do, I'm, I'm just cutting these in half. You don't have to. I just want them thinner. But then it makes them cook quicker too. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is get a little butter. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, and we're gonna saute these things up. And then when they're done, you know, it's sort of like the healthier version of apple pie. You don't have all the crust and all that stuff. And you probably like crisp, but it's butter, it's butter. It's nothing wrong with butter, you just don't want to use too much of it. So you see, I'm gonna use a very, very, very small amount of butter. Just use them as necessary. So, oh yeah, oh, so I was gonna say, so when it's done, just gonna top this thing. I'm just gonna use a little whipped cream, just a little whipped cream. Um, but you, of course, you probably want a little, a little bit, a little bit of ice cream. I know you probably wanna make out the mold, but don't start dousing it. And I'm probably gonna use a total, I don't even think I'm gonna do a total of a tablespoon. Maybe a little bit less than a tablespoon. That's all you need. That's all I need. Y'all remember moving the jerk? Bam. <laughs> Let that butter melt down. Uh oh, it said to flip my food. Flip your food, Crystal. That's one thing I do like about this thing. It's a, it lets you know what it wants you to do. I'm coming. Air fryer? Goodness. Let's see if. Oh, these fries. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. Do I even need to? These bad. Oh, they crispy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We gonna have these bad boys might be done. They look done. Let's see. They done. <laughs> oh, shoot. Come through, air fryer. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this here fish. I don't think I want to flip it. I'm gonna let it stay how it is. I'm gonna let that thing cook some more. Come on, air fryer. Mm. Mm. I like 
like them fried. I like them fried. They good and crispy. In what? Nine minutes in a toast oven? Okay, air fryer. Ooh, come on. At this point, I feel like we need to count how many times I called it the toast, toast oven. So I just got my pan with my butter, spread that on across. Arrange my hands up. Oh, I can taste the paprika on those fries. Oh, but um, one time, let me get this one out of the way. I was eating an apple, and uh, oh shoot, this butter trying to burn on me. Don't burn. Um, oh, don't burn on me, butter. Um, and that thing went straight through my gum. My gum was rude and cut for a long time. Oh child, there's a lot of noise in this house, in the kitchen. All right, so I got that in the butter. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, nutmeg. Y'all know I told y'all the other day during the Breaking Unhealthy Cycles Challenge that cinnamon is bae. Cinnamon. Y'all should smell it. Oh child. Cinnamon will change your life. Oh, this smells so good. And with this nutmeg, I'm putting it in my hand first. Because with nutmeg, you don't want, you can't go too hard with nutmeg. Good job. Mm, mm. Yes, come on. But cinnamon. Oh, child. This is going to be so good. And it's lighter and healthier. Than what you would have eaten if you had a whole apple pie or a slice of pie or a tort or anything like that. But you don't have a crust. Because I just use the little tablespoon of butter, apple. Oh, yes. Come on. And then down low. I'm so excited, y'all. I usually, I know y'all like, because you always excited about food, baby. But I'm real excited today. Oh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. See, myself ready. Because I'm excited to let them apples do their own thing. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, apples. Let's turn this on so we can see you. Ooh. I love a good cooked apple. It's been a long time since I had a cooked apple, too. That's one thing I love about doing this show with y'all. You know how they always say you do better when you're doing for other people? So, doing this show and trying to find more things for you all, it makes me remember some of the things I forgot, but I just haven't done it while. I got you an air, uh, air fryer shoe. Well, now I can talk normally. Jeez, that thing was so loud. I'm just gonna saute these up. I'm just doing a quick flip on all of them. Uh oh, what's happening? Doing a quick flip on all of them. Just to make sure they are cooking evenly. They look amazing. Y'all ready to see this fish? Let's see if it's done, honey. Ooh, I think I'm gonna give it like two more minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see. Hmm. Y'all, get all this junk out the way. Cause uh, in, in, in two minutes, three minutes, we are gonna, if y'all could smell, what I smell with these apples right now. That cinnamon and that nutmeg. Oh, we. I'm, I, I'm like, I'm stalking the fish. Man, it says add the food, but I think we might be done. What y'all think? Let me show y'all. Look at that. Y'all. Let me turn that off. Let me plate this food. We're gonna see about it. Ooh, nice and crispy. Turn off. Why that thing still make not that noise? There we go. Oh my cheese. So we got our fish and our fries. Fish and chips. And what, 12, 13 minutes, somewhere around there. 
Got a little bit left over. Put that over there. Ooh, these apples. Look at that, y'all. Air fryer. Twelve minutes. This fish smells so good. So I can tell. I go by my smelling a lot. That's one of my favorite senses. Ooh. Y'all see that crispiness? Look at that. Can you hear the crunch? <laughs> yes. Come on. Ooh. Look these apples. Mmm. 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 Boy. Boy. Maybe one of my favorite ones. And my uh, taste test. Y'all, these smell so good. My taste tester is not here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, babe. Be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, you always nice. I'm making some more. Oh, we just, this ain't gonna last. Oh, now see how beautiful those apples look? I'm telling you, it says here's whipped cream. I'm not even a big whipped cream fan. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna not. Y'all can if you want to. Um, I mean, it's not like it's a lot of calories in it. It's only 15 calories per two, uh, ta two tablespoons. But y'all can do that. Y'all can have your ice cream if you want to. I'm just going to eat these bad boys. If y'all can smell this. <laughs> Quick, fast, and easy. The only fats with this right now is the tablespoon of butter that we use to saute this apple. If I, and you got your carbs, sure. Got your uh, protein, man, uh, fish, fries, um, sauteed apples. Just wanna eat it all. This is probably, on this here, potato, I don't have anything, uh, like 350 calories. It does all. No fries, nothing. Straight air fryer, sauteed apple. Okay. Y'all, I hope y'all let me know what you try, when you try it. I, I, man, this has, I will definitely be using my air fryer. Ah, I said it right. Way more. To, man, this, these fries were so crispy. And it came out so flavorful. And again, all I did with the fries, I seasoned them before I even put them in the oven. Mm, excuse me. Pepper. A little paprika, add a little extra. Let's just say, don't be afraid of your spices and herbs and seasons. So I use pepper, paprika, onion herb, and garlic and herb. Not garlic, it's coming through. So there's so much flavor on the fries that I don't even need ketchup with it. And then with the fish, I just use Andy seasoning, toss that around. It's so flavorful. My folks who've used Andy before, let me know if I'm, tell the folks if I'm telling the truth or not. In the comments but it's so good you don't need anything else with it you don't need ketchup hot sauce or anything else you make on your fish sometimes i put a little mustard just because it's got a little country in me um a country boy homie remind me told me told me about that but you don't need any of those sauces the key is to season and flavor your food well enough with none of those added added things that are going to bring added calories are needed and that's why i said these apples i know some people like oh like apple pie a mold, put a little um, put a little ice cream, good green, and a little y'all have no idea how good that is. This I love my fish and fries, but this these apples just sauteing some apples. How many calories that'll save you if you have a sweet tooth? Come on, y'all. All right. Whew. I'm going to stop. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all, this has been one of my favorites. This is this is good. Yeah. All right, y'all. See y'all soon. Talk to you later.